Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you, and welcome to another episode of Strat Talk, the series where we talk about strategies for professional Counter-Strike Global Defensive. This time, we're going to be looking at a match between Team Solo Mid and Envious on Cobblestone from the Grand Finals of IEM, and Cajun B is freaking amazing with no armor on the pistol round. He manages to take out all these uh, Envious players, uh, not to spoil it, but he ends up killing Happy, and wait, wait that does spoil it. And he wins. There it is. Look, pop. All right. So as we move into the next rounds, what we're going to be talking about here is Envious's positioning on these armor pistol rounds. So obvious to everybody, it was a close round economically. Envious should buy up. Envious is also a really good team at buying on the uh, the sort of armor pistol type rounds and somehow winning them. But it just it makes sense economically for the buy in this round. If they mess it up. They save next round, and they can buy fully on the fourth. And check out their positioning. It's pretty standard as well. We got MBK watching at middle here. Um, Team Solo Mid going to play it a little bit safe. They want to figure out what's going on. So we're going to be talking about the positioning here that I think is really interesting. Uh, it's something that you see a lot in sort of your matchmaking games, and I think could be applied elsewhere to other maps. So we'll talk about that as well. Now notice, one player gets picked. Poor MBK takes a nade to the face and goes down. Team Envious is like, well, what do we do? Uh, you see Kenny S kind of chilling over here at bombsite B, and then they do something. They they rotate over to bombsite A fully. They completely stack it with these players. We see that Kenny S is able to pick up the scout off of the dead NVK. So why this is interesting, we see Solo bid now is just going to push into B with no resistance. Look at the map. Nobody here. They completely stack this bombsite. If Solo mid were to push at A, Team Envious has a really good chance of taking this, even if they push through here, because we see Kiyoshima is actually playing the position in case they go through the connector to A as well. So they've sort of flipped a coin. It's a coin that says, I think they're going to go A. And the idea when you do this is you don't want to give any intel to the enemies about it. And it would have given Eminus, again, a really good chance of winning it if they decided to go that way. And why this makes sense for this specific round, round number two when they buy, is check this out. They're not going to mount a retake. It's not, well, it's possible, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, the other guys have the weapon advantage. So they're just going to save. And because they stole that scout here on Kenny S, as they move into the next round, and we'll jump forward here into the next round, he's able to throw that scout over to NBK, and boom! They have another second round type buy. So this is round three. Normally, you lose all your guys. You have to just full save and kind of give this round to the enemy. Now, as they glitch around the map, they have another chance at the exact same round. Solo mid didn't lose any players. They're not going to rebuy anything. It's kind of the same round, and they're doing it again. They're stacking over here at bomb site B. If Solo mid pushes into B, coin flip, they'll probably hold them off. What really comes down to here, listen to Kerrigan. He has the perfect position to hear, and we can hear footsteps all over the place. So they're not pushing into B. Solomid is reacting very intelligently to this, and they're taking their time. Envious has moved MBK back to bombsite A as a solo player because they didn't initially just charge into B. So we see them checking all their angles, clearing all the positions, listening, trying to figure out what's going on. Kerrigan's still in a position here, and they've decided to go to A instead, which is smart because B is completely taken by the CT. So TSM responds very well to this strategy. And they're able to push in here and take this bombsite, even after losing that player. So they know now, okay, nobody's in the long hauls, nobody's at middle. They probably only left one player here, and they're able to push in uh, and work on killing these guys as they work on the retake. So why this kind of works, and we're going to go into the, the mini-map here as these guys fight it out, because we don't really care about this, we already saw this. It works because this map, you can either go A-side or B-side. There's not much in the middle right here. There's this connector for rotates, but really at the end of the day, I know that's a cliche, I love saying it, the end of the day, guys, it's a pretty simplistic map in terms of go A or go B from the T-side. There's no middle area. So this kind of thing, I don't think it would work on something like Dust 2. I feel like the terrorists would accurately be able to figure out if the other team has, uh, has stacked a site and then rotate and go the other way. Sort of like TSM was trying to do this time, they did figure it out and they did sort of outsmart envious in that respect. I don't think it would work on a map like Dust2, which is sort of the Clover style. So it's kind of like this, except you have this place in the middle, like that. That's kind of Dust2. Cache is that way. Mirage is that way. Other maps, I don't think it would work. A map I do think it would work on, though, is Inferno. Stacking bombsite A or bombsite B in positions that they can't see you until they actually get into the bombsite. On second round, when you do that armor pistol, and then if they take the other round, you just save and you get another chance at it. You get two coin flips. You get two 
50-50 chances if, if they don't hear you, if they don't get that intel. Two 50-50 chances at a really good hold-off on rounds to just sort of steal that economic momentum. I think that's a good idea. I think Envious did a good uh, a good idea. It didn't work out for them in this specific match. I think Solomid reacted to it properly, but it's just something to keep in mind, that kind of a strategy of, of doing that sort of a coin flip type thing. It's completely stacking a site. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. Hey guys, want to see my signature? There it is. It took me a long time.